Ladies and gentle lady, Chaska. Need I say more? Chaska is going to be the newest member of Genshin Impact's roster, along with Roron. Now, Chaska is actually a pretty special case, and I'm actually pretty interested to see what exactly she does. Now, we already have seen some of the stuff that she can do, and I want to talk about something specific. But for now, let's just talk about her generally. First things first, Let's just go ahead and talk about the night soul blessing that she has. She basically flies. Genuinely flies on her cannon thing and looks absolutely sick doing it. Not to mention animal character. Double use all around. Now, the thing is, I want to talk about this specifically. Chaska is not only an animal character. <laughs> I know. This is gonna sound weird, I'm not saying she's a dual element or something like that. But as long as Chaska has Pyro, Electro, or Cryo teammates, she's going to be able to pretty much output any of those all at once. And theoretically, if we put only Cryo characters on your team, she's going to have three you know, Cryo bullets or whatever, blast, I don't know what to call it, cannon shots. In any case, Chaska is a character that can utilize multiple elements because of her Night Soul Blessing, and we're going to go more into that. Now, I do think that Chaska is the first to be able to do that, which is pretty interesting to me, and I think she's going to have a really significant role in the future of Genshin Impact. I'm not talking about as a character, but what this character means now i do think that because she's animal she is a special case because they just want her to quote unquote swirl and that's her whole thing she wants to do swirl with a bunch of characters and because she's very heavily focused like you have to be on chaska for multiple seconds like you barely do a rotation i think that is why she's able to do such things but let's say for example that in the future, they make a character similar to Chaska, they're going to be dual elements. And I'm very, very excited for that possibility. Now, Auroron as a character is pretty cool too. He's a four star, which is pretty interesting. We haven't seen a four star since the release of, I think the Geo character, I forgot her name. Okay, I'm sorry, Kajina, that's, that's one. And yeah, he has some pretty interesting mechanics, with the double jump thing. Um, I think he's pretty cool. But generally, both of these characters are bow characters, and I don't really like that too much. But I do like what Chaska brings and how she plays. So it's going to be very, very interesting with her. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff that's going to be coming in, as well as a weapon. I don't see a sword weapon between these two they're both bow users so this is an interesting weapon maybe in the future we see a character that uses this maybe it's lolly um that's i mean that's what i'm assuming i don't know but that's the event weapon Chaska being able to do this is very important the reason is not just because she's the first character to be able to do this but because of what it entails. I already talked about what the future characters might have in the dual element situation, but she herself could be a very fun character. You can build her in multiple ways. You can have so many builds with her, and that is what I'm interested about. Can you build her with those specific uh, elements in mind? So for example, if we wanna build her with Cryo, we do have three Cryo characters in the team, and then she can output a ridiculous amount of cryo damage and because of this world you can run verdescent you can run um other animal sets you can run i don't know but it's very very interesting to me especially with how this mechanic works and let's just say wanderer has been absolutely dominated by chaska and i don't mean in the weird way i mean in the way that power creep on a different level not only does she get interruption to resistance but also she just absolutely demolishes the amount of distance that you can go with her. Now, I do think outside of Natlin, she won't have that much distance. In fact, the Phlogiston will actually run out infinitely faster because there is no Phlogiston, right? It's just her skill amount. 
I feel like that would run out pretty quick. But in that land, you'll be able to pew, fly across the sky and it's gonna be pretty great. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to talk about. I think she's going to be an excellent, excellent addition to the Genshin Impact roster. Hopefully I can get her. If I don't, that will be quite unfortunate because I don't really have that many summits, which is um, other characters like Nivellet and Zhongli are going to be coming in. Uh, and the, I think, second patch. And Linny is going to be on the first phase with Chaska. So yeah, there is that. A lot of both characters on that phase. Anyways, that's going to be it from me. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. What do you guys think in the comments? Do you guys think that Chaska is going to be a pretty interesting character? Are you guys going to be summoning on Chaska or maybe skipping for a full week potentially? Because usually 5.2 is the Archon patch. But this time around, we aren't really seeing that. A lot of weird things going on in that land. Especially with the Traveler still not having the Pyro element. But yeah. Go to be it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.